All right. Wild Grove. I like this path up here. Wild Wolf, we have Fame and Glory gain plus one permanent power after defeating a boss. So the farther we go in, the more power stacks we get, which is great for us. He did some damage to me, so no health regeneration from Divine Grace, or like max health. Five damage and heal one hit points, I'll take it. A little bit of healing is not bad, more damage is good. I'd rather have gotten an armor item. I guess I could have re-rolled for one, but I didn't want to burn through my re-rolls too quickly here. Ooh, you and your frail is going to make it so you can get past me. I prefer to take no damage, even though I do heal 10%, because gaining three max hit points after fights is always nice, but it's not always going to happen. Can I get you here? Enough damage. I guess we have bread to heal up a little bit. If I take you out here, we gain three max health, which is nice for us. Got him. Up to 68. Maybe I have sword build or cooldown build. Eight damage every two spins, plus four damage for each weapon on cooldown. So it's effectively four damage a turn on average, you know, when it pops up, which right now is every single time. So it's not that crazy, but if I get more like weapons with cooldown, we didn't get enough armor there, huh? I need more armor. You really need to like re-roll for armor early is what I'm noticing. Like the first one or two fights, re-roll for armor. Unless you want to play it risky and just not get as much value from the max hit points, which I'm okay with doing. Keep it spicy. Keep it interesting. Gotcha. I had enough health there because I got the plus three. I must have healed up from something. Nothing cooldown centric here. I need to listen to my own advice and get some armor. These are all nice now, but give me armor. Thank you, small buckler. Give me a chest. Yeah, give me some more armor. And it adds damage to adjacent strength weapons for like that round. I have no key to unlock this. So if I go this path to get this, two tiles just to get one, or I could get like tooth rewards going this way, or skip the shop, which I don't have that much money for anyways, and go for this guy. I think that's the plan right there. Now we're getting 19 armor around is much better. You're putting weakness on us, so that's going to weaken our damage. Does that affect all my weapons? I think it does. Oh, the frail. The fairy likes to cast spells on us. Guess it checks out. Man, situation's looking good up there as well. You like to make yourself stronger as well. You like to do a lot of buffing. You hit for 14. I think we have enough armor for that for now. This is Frail's hitting us pretty hard. We're okay for now. Problem is you're putting so many stacks of weakness on us and I have no poison or anything. Come on. All right, we're blocking everything so far. I think we can still get you in spite of all that Frail and weakness. Gotcha. Key would be nice, but a rare Bard's Hat. Plus three damage to adjacent agility weapons. I gotta go for the key. They'll pay dividends later on. And juiced up owl bear over here, hurt him for 13 out the gate. You do have the armor for it. You do like to shield yourself up. Having some poison, even just like a little bit of poison or something would be nice. You know, something to stack up over time to really help accelerate getting through you. I don't like you hitting me with this frail. You're buffing yourself with some rage. I mean, we're gonna get you. The question is, can we do it with max health to get the plus three uh, from the divine grace? Because that adds up. That could save our difference, save our life at the end. I do heal from that one uh, wand, depth of wand there. So one hit point damage here and there's not a big deal. I'm not sure if it calculates that after I get the 10% healed. No, if already at full health. Okay. I need more things with cooldowns to get better value from the bandit sword. Okay, we're definitely not going to get the plus three this time, but that's fine. It's like a curse fight. How am I healing so much here? The bread. The bread's healing us up. That's fine. Bread's gone. I don't want any of these. There's all my rerolls gone. Do I? I mean, I don't really care about this. Or I mean, ah, if I burn, I'll take it. I'll say I need some status effect, right? Three power, 15 poison. I'm not sure which is better. Give me the power. Longer cooldowns so must be better, right? Save it for the boss. Forest rock. What build am I going for here yet? Well, it depends what we get. It's only the first stage. Need to keep the armor flowing over here. Double buckler is nice early on. Love that. No need to remove symbols yet. Yeah, we're just dusting you. Fire adds up two as well. Is that after I attack? I don't know. Man, it's not that big of a deal right now. It does buff adjacent mag magic weapons. Well, I'll take it because I can't reroll. No need to skip yet. Enchanted Fairy. This thing could touch some nearby weapons. Oh, I already had one of those. I only have two. Well, at least my mana situation is going to be pretty good. I need to pay attention. Does the fire trigger before or after my hits? So it's 10 after. So my attacks hit. So basically, I would break the shield first before the fire even triggers most of the time if I have enough damage for it, so... Good to know. Not waste on shields. Depending how shield enemies have. This guy has none. Or lady, whatever. Took three damage. Uh, I don't know if I heal that in time with my one wand. No. We don't get the plus three hit points in this time from the grace, but we will heal up to full. So that's fine. Grab the shinobi star and hopefully we can get a shinobi's belt later on with some luck, maybe? Porcupine. Need more armor. I just burned through all my reels early trying to get some armor. We've been a little bit on the armor poor side so far this round. So we're doing okay. We're at full health. I'm not doing bad by any means. You and your thorns. Thorns are nasty. 
Gotcha though. Porcupine thorns makes sense. Wait, every two spins. That's a cooldown. We take that. Because that's synergized. We can go for a cooldown build, that's right. So we spin you. And this guy right here. Yeah, you just did like 10 damage, right? Every two spins. And you should do 12 next time. I watch you closely. Where are you at? And I didn't see it. It was down here. Just trying to pay attention and watch it go. We're doing fine. We got 80 hit points so far against this boss. Go so fast. You are. Yeah, just give this go so fast. I can't see spot where it's at before the numbers go across. I'm sure somebody, when you guys like rewound it and saw it doing 12, right? Surely. Doing pretty well against the boss here. If we beat them, we get a full heal. Yeah, I'm just, my eyes are just scanning here trying to see it hit for 12. Just confirm it's doing what I want to do, but I just can't, <laughs> can't see it in time. I got it at max speed, so it goes super quick. We are dusting the boss, though. Um, they got a lot of shield and whatnot, but yeah, we got some nice damage. The burns adding up over time, too. A little bit of status effect helps here and there. Seem to be doing fine. To get you all the way. Yeah, not a problem. Stealing, I mean, stealing gold could help me buy some really good stuff later on. I don't have any quivers yet anyways. Give me this. Rainy Shores. Do I have a key? Take this fight first. No, I didn't grab the key. Pass the key. Ooh, power. Because I beat the boss. That's going to improve my damage nicely. I saw 11 from the longsword there. Wish it like showed the damage it dealt somewhere. If you don't see it go by in time. I saw it. 13. Okay, it is working. Good. So Longsword does count. We need more of those. Sorry, sorry, it took so long to see that and <laughs> respond to it. Just, just scan screen too slowly problems. Bodying you. Did take some damage though. Not getting extra three hit points from that, which I want. Is it worth it for 50 gold? I should probably re-roll for armor. Oh, well, I'm not impressed by any of this. There we go, it's better. Armor and mana restoration. Although feeble wands, really good. I mean, I did the, the last video, I did a lot of feeble wand stuff. We can not go for feeble wand stuff this time. Although I think wizard hat's something you just need like every run if you have any magic using items. I don't think you can go back this way. I don't have the key anyways. So go down the middle. Giant toad. You hit for a lot of damage. I have 27. I got that wizard hat just in time. Otherwise, you'd be hurting me a lot. You're still going to get through my armor eventually as you scale as this battle goes on. I'm only hitting for 30, like 50 or so per round. We definitely need to make that a lot higher. Even get to like 100. That's not going to be about enough for that one boss to get like 80 shield a turn. Well, the power is going to help. We get more weapons. I just need lots of weapons to get more value from the power. Because this guy's whole thing is, you know, more power. So more weapons getting that plus one bonus will help quite a lot. Which means I need low inventory, lots of high quality items. Is this like every yeah every spin? So we're gonna be getting a lot of a lot of gold stealing going on here, which is good. Eight damage, increase max mana by one. We do need more max mana eventually. And eight damage per hit's not bad. I'll take it. All right, magic jellyfish. I need to be better about like keeping my 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 inventory not over bloated. We've already got sixteen items, right? You really want it to be like right around twenty, so you're just getting the good stuff you want and. You know, the lower quality stuff just remove. Having the extra gold to like buy more remove symbols could be useful to keep my deck nice and clean. And also just not take everything that pops up and shows up, right? Got past my shield there a little bit. I'm not going to heal up that uh, enough to get my extra plus three, but I mean, 80 hit points couldn't get the job done if you do it right. Your uh, shock reducing my stats on my attacking is... Come on, give me a plus this time. Another minus. Sometimes it's plus, sometimes it's minus. I need to be a plus. Come on. There we go. Now you're done. Now you're done for. Appreciate that. I'm not really going for... It doesn't seem like we're going for a bow build. More damage adjacent strength weapons is okay. Plus two armor for each space above. Doesn't even give any armor by itself. I'm going to reroll. Can be stored in Shinobi's belt. I'm going to take that. I can hit here and then here, or I can hit here and go down a shop. We'll decide later. Do need to get a Shinobi's belt. The more Shinobi stars I get... The more valuable the Shinobi's belt becomes if I even ever, you know, get given the option to have it, which would be nice. Some great damage to you. You have for 24, but my shield is kind of okay for me. I need, I need more defense items or higher quality defense items. I only have three empty slots left. We're not doing too bad here. I've got plenty of mana. Mana situation seems fine. I could get the white bread and just eat it over time or the red cherry. Yeah, just take the red cherry. I've got a lot of gold. I kind of want to go down to the shop. But then I get a guaranteed uncommon here and a guaranteed uncommon here. And I just have more money for shops later. Let's get more money for shops later because some of the later shops, like I've seen items like here's a legendary item that costs 800, you know, have 1600 gold saved up for a couple of those, right? Would be doing us a lot of value. Well, I could have bought some more rerolls to use on guys like this. Coming good too. So many choices. So I like this kind of games. Decision making, thinking. You do hit for a lot. I need more armor for sure. My armor situation could be a touch better. Although we're not doing too shabby. And I just want to get more max health. It'd be nice. 
my mana situation and my max mana situation seem to be doing fine. This is for agility stuff. I'm gonna reroll. 250 gold is not bad. I'm not going for an axe build. I mean, vein cutter is not bad. Six damage and gives um, some uh, bleed damage. That's fine. Would have bleeds not bad. I'll take it. Uncommon. Five damage and some put some poison on there. A little bit of poison. It's fine. I'll take a little bit. Little stats effects on there in case, you know, they got a lot of armor my way. I can kind of nibble at them from behind. Although, you know, three, three, and five is not a whole ton, but not bad. It all adds up. You are getting past my armor because we have not really been getting a whole lot of armor offered to us, unfortunately. There we go. You think you'd want the uncommon, but I just need armor. Where are my uh, uncommon and rare armor offerings? Hello? I'm just getting bucklers for days. Small ones at that. You summoned your buddy. Pay for 34. Come on, armor. 32. We take it. It was 34 last time. What went different here? Got a little bit of heal from the depth of one. One hit point I mean, adds up, right? There we go. Three armor, two for each space above. I'll take it. I'll probably remove it eventually once I get better armor. Do I want to remove something now? I've got a bit of bloat going on. Eh, once I use the key, that'll disappear, so. For now, don't worry about it. I mean, that was like 100 damage in one go. That's not bad. My armor blocked everything. That's good. That's right. I want lot to get maximum power value. I want to have just lots of uh, attacking items and not too many like things like this that don't actually attack. So you probably don't want an arrow build with lots of quivers taking up space or things like this that don't attack. I'm actually just going to skip this one. I don't want any of these. I don't have a reroll available to use. All right, magic jellyfish. Show me what you're made of. Show me what you got. 38 damage. I blocked it. That's good. Keep working on you. Should be getting that 38 almost every turn. I'm not sure why sometimes it's 35, sometimes 38. Cause, oh, because it's like random based on where the leather boots land. You want the leather boots to be at the bottom, not at the top. A bit of RNG on the boots there. Very, there we go. Is that the one? No, that was you. Let's block it though. Keep cooking down here. The minus 11 on the shock, not doing us any favors here, although it might give me a chance to heal the full get the three extra max hit points from the divine grace. Gotcha. And it worked. Hey, nice. 25 damage every three spins. Here's the thing. It doesn't attack every turn, so it doesn't get as much value from the power. Give me the bread. Attack you. Do I want to remove something? I mean, the, the keep the thief glove for a long time. I, I could get rid of this, maybe? It does buff adjacent magic weapons. I mean, I've got 48 mana. You use mana, you use mana. I mean, that does use four, so that's potentially eight mana around, so I kind of need it, right? I kind of need it because we use eight mana around and they are attacking for me. I think they do get buffed by the power, right? Every symbol. So that should affect everything, not just the regular attacking. Bruce here could be a problem for us because he hits for 40. I mean, I guess that's where the stats effects come in handy here, because they can get past the, the armor. Uh, I need them to stack up pretty aggressively. I do have this to give me three power. I should have been using this earlier. Give me that, thank you. Gotta remember about my runes for the bosses. You know, I had to see if the bosses just kind of helps. I'll help out a lot here. You're hitting me pretty hard here. I need to hurry up and get past you with my burn and my damage and all that. You're down to half health. Ooh, here's the thing. You're gonna Your damage scales faster than my stats effects add up, I think, here. Or do they? We might we might be okay. Maybe we don't need that much burn to pass this guy or bleed. Yeah, we're kind of okay, actually, I think, here. Yeah, we get him. We're not going to get the plus three max hit points, but this guy's one of the tougher bosses because of the 80 armor, but we got past him fine. There's a tougher boss, though. Another thief club for more money could be really good. I don't like the idea of burning through all my max mana. I mean, we're not really going for a mana build. I could eventually just get rid of all my mana items. I guess one of them, like, applies burn and stuff. You know, let's go for it. Failed Sands. I mean, I kind of want the shop, but there's so many. That's like, these are all guaranteed uncommon things. I mean, we got to go for the bottom path. We just got to. And we'll just have a ton of gold for the, um, what you call it, uh, the, the shop in the, the fourth stage. Gold plenty. We are destroying this guy. My mana damage is just going to get stronger and stronger on this one thing. Yeah, 23 damage from the Arcane Tome. Finally, some armor. Give me that Night Shield. You get three more rerolls when you beat the boss. Wandering Knoll. You got a lot of attack there, but I got 50 shields pretty good. Do I want to remove... Uh, should I remove something here? Should I remove some symbols? Got too many... Too much stuff. You eventually just need to get removed, because what's this thing's going to gonna consume it all anyways. Yeah, just get rid of you guys. Mana's going to be like gone eventually anyways, right? 21 is fine. We roll with that. Make sure this thing pops up nearly every single time. That way it burns the mana faster and it gets crazy stronger faster. And Make sure I keep drawing all my armor and stuff, right? Dusted this guy. 15 armor is great. Take it. Do I remove, like, a buckler? 
Yeah, maybe we remove like one of these little bucklers here. Maybe both bucklers. I've got two knight shields and that's 37 every single time. Yeah, maybe that's not enough. Oh, I guess we have like the shoes. Maybe we should remove the shoes. I mean, we've got 63 there. How do I get so much? I mean, I guess this is giving me armor, but how to get 63 when I have 37? Something else to get armor too, or something's multiplying it. Eh, maybe I could have kept that one buckler and got rid of the shoes, I think. Because they're getting through me a little bit. 10 armor. We take this. Get rid of this. Uh, where's, the sh where's the shoe armor? This one. You're unreliable. All right, genie lamp. What are you all about? So Everything pops up every single time, so it should be 58 armor every single time. Should be like consistent, because I got rid of the RNG one, maybe? Nope, 60. Something else is still like making it a bit random. It's fine though. Well, you're frail. It's not gonna be helping my case any. Uh, 54. 51 actually. It shows up here and then applies that. Although my damage on you is kind of kind of crazy. How much damage is that? 140, 150 nearly? Just tons of damage. This will heal us up here a little bit. Do need more armor though. One power each spin works nicely with my power build. Take that. Remove something else. Not armor. We need more armor, clearly. Uh, something that uses magic. You. Common staff. Need to buy more remove symbols. I guess going to the shop could be good for that. I should be more careful about what I grab from now on. Look at that damage. That was well, 172 damage in one round? That's so much damage. That tome is getting real strong. It's getting real strong with over there. Love that for us. I think I've got a sword or something giving us mana. I don't know which... This only attacks every other go, which means it only gets power every other go, which means you could replace it with something else. Longsword could be swapped out, I think. I mean, I could just get the... I don't want to bloat my inventory here, but this guy's guaranteed to give me an uncommon if I reroll. I'll just take the drumstick. I've got, like, a bunch more uncommons coming, right? And that way, if I take damage, we heal up and get our max hit points up from Divine Grace. That was 171 damage in one round. Love that. That's a lot of damage. And this thing... This, this tome is just getting stronger. The tome is doing work. Getting an item that keeps improving my max mana. We have something to improve our max mana. Does the tome take mana to attack? You didn't show up that time. Um, consumes three max mana. That's permanently as damage. If I'm out of max mana, is it unable to attack? That's the question, I guess. We're getting real strong, though. Ooh, restore five mana. Remove the long sword, put that in. Golden apple could be good, though. Give me, the, give me a spell blade. I need the shop in the next area to show up, like, nice and early. Use you. That's right, this thing gives me more than power every spin. We are getting inventory a bit bloated, so that's a thing to worry about. We lost some damage from the shock, but well, we're still doing fine, I think. How's the armor looking? We are getting 60, you're doing 44. It's fine for now. We will need more eventually, like higher quality armor, fortified, because really, I think a hundred armor is kind of like the sweet spot to be getting, like 80 to 100. Consistently per round. We're taking a lot of damage here because of something. Six damage gives bleed. I'm gonna reroll. Five damage restores five mana. We don't really, we already have the sword. Uh, I think we skip this. Honestly, I'm just gonna skip it because like six damage is not that big of a deal. Gotta be like picky about what we grab here. I've already got things I need to remove. Don't need to have too many things to remove, right? We don't take something unless it's amazing at this point. Maybe putting poison bleed on is actually kind of better than I thought, but we'll find out. You're hitting me up for a lot, which means my armor is not enough, which because I've got too many things, not the armor's not always popping up every single time. Yeah, also you had frail. There we go. See, every five spins means you, the four out of five times you don't get the power value, so that's no good. Fifteen armor though is great. That's why I went this path. Well, I think I should have gone for the shop for like the for removes. I need the removes in my life. Wait, you're the are you the boss? You only have a thousand hit points. I don't think you're the boss. I think you're the cursed one. Definitely need all the armor to pop up every time would be good. 79 armor, that's a lot better. If I could just remove a couple items with some roof symbols, if I get some more, that'd be pretty darn good. 70 armor is great. These things help a little bit, but it's really just the fact that I just do so much damage. My arcane tome hitting for 103 is just, just crazy damage. You, the poisons and the bleed is not helping my case much here any, frankly. I'm pretty low on mana, about to find out that arcane can attack with no mana. Do I reroll or say the reroll for the boss? It's rare, not uncommon. We reroll. We, we don't have mana. Ten armor is okay. Yeah, I'll take it, I guess. 25 burn. We got, we got, uh, I mean, we got some poison. Every five battles it means it's probably better than every three. Take it. Although it does, like, deplete faster. You could be tough. Well, first of all, three power. Put some burn on you. You're gonna take away a lot of my armor. So let's just see how this goes. You have 1800 health. Stage three, there's four stages. And you remove the other thing that uses mana. You already got past some of my armor there. You need to really get out of armor. Come on, 70. That's good. You're putting weakness on me. It's going to be a 
really big problem, although I keep getting power over time. You've got regeneration. 89 shield. Fantastic. Love that. Don't know what this button does. Keep going here. Come on. Maybe that, like, speeds up those spinnings. Before I got a max speed. You're... I'm down to 7 health. That's making me wish I've gotten the golden apple. I think we're gonna lose right here. Short video, I guess. Fun one, though. Alright, this is the third video of me in this. Let me know if you guys want me to keep the series going, because I definitely can. I like it a lot. Now, I've got plenty more videos you can watch, too. Like this one right here. See you next time.